Well, hello there, folks. My name is Meerkat, and today is Wednesday, February 4th, 2015. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to play the Kalento Mech Mage deck, or Kalento Mage Mech deck, however you want to pronounce it. I personally do not care in which order you do pronounce the actual name, because it is just another garden variety Mech Mage deck, but of the Kalento style. Um, so let's go ahead and hop right into the deck list here. Got two Clockwork Gnomes, two Cogmasters, two Frostbolts, two Noiltrons, two Mad Scientists, and two Mech Warpers. Two snow chuggers. Now let me pause on the snow chugger really quick. If you are playing against any hero that has a weapon, you definitely want to mulligan for this um, in the in the very beginning of the game. You want to try to get this out as fast as you can, and you want to hit the opponent, uh, the hero, as early as you can with the snow chugger, um, because a lot of times people like uh, you know obviously rogues, warriors, and uh, paladins have a lot of weapons that they use to remove your minions early on. Anyways, I'm um, not going to beat the dead horse on that one because everybody knows how to play a mech mage deck, but just something for you to know in case you aren't familiar with the mech mage uh, uh, type of play. Uh, moving on, we got two mere entities. Now, these two cards right here are very specific to Kalento's variation on the mech mage <laughs> card and variety that, you know, there's a thousand different iterations of this type of deck. Well, his little two cents that he adds into it are these mirror entity cards. Now these mirror entity cards can be awesome and they can suck. Um, just really depends on what your opponent's gonna play. <clears throat> mirror entity is one of those cards where it used to get played a lot early on back in like the beta days of Hearthstone and then it kinda got overused and everybody expected it and then people started using Counterspell a lot because that wasn't being expected and now it's kind of shifted to where everybody expects you to play Counterspell. So I find myself a lot of times when I play mirror entity a lot of heroes, a lot of opponents actually don't suspect it, and I end up getting an awesome card. Either way, it is a bit RNG, so take that into account. And uh, it does actually make the deck a little bit more entertaining to play, in my personal and unprofessional opinion. <laughs> uh, moving on, two spider tanks, the meat and potatoes of the deck. Good three, four for three cards, like a cheaper version of the Yeti, except it is a mech card, which synergizes well with this deck. Two Tinkertown Technicians, amazing card, one of the best cards, in my opinion, of this deck. Uh, plus one, one, if you already have a mech out, plus a spare, car, spare part card into your hand, you cannot be that for three points of mana. Two Fireballs for direct damage or board removal. You've got two Goblin Blast Mage, obviously synergizes with your mechs. You got one Mechanical Yeti, two Piloted Shredders, one Azor Drake, Great for card draw, great for spell damage with your fireball and your frost bolts. And then you got uh, one Archmage Antonitis. Um, in this type of deck, you're going to have uh, a few different cards that will give you spell uh, spare parts. So in my opinion, I really think if you can get at least one or maybe even two fireballs off the Archmage Antonitis, then you've really gotten your value out of having this card in your deck. Now, I know you probably have seen or might have actually experienced this yourself where you get like seven fireballs in your hand, and it's amazing because you feel so OP. And yeah, I've been there too, except that's like one out of 100 games or maybe one out of 50, I don't know. But the point is, you're not going to be able to win the game every time with that. In fact, Archmage Antonitis really isn't meant to be played unless you get pushed into the later aspects of the game, moving into, you know, turn 8, turn 9, turn 10, and so on. And finally, we've got a Dr. Boom. Now, Dr. Boom, everybody and their mother plays Dr. Boom, and why not? He's a great card, 7-7, with 2-1-1 Boom bots that also explode for 1-4 to four random points of damage. So juicy. I honestly was expecting this to get nerfed when the Undertaker got nerfed, but alas, he did not get nerfed, so that's okay by me. One variation that I would throw out there, I thought about throwing out the Mechanical Yeti and actually putting in a Big Game Hunter, but I don't know yet. I want to see how things go when I play Kalento Mech Mage Mage Mech Deck, however you want to pronounce it. So let's go ahead and back out of here. I'm going to hop right into a game. Now I've been on somewhat of a hiatus from Hearthstone, and it drives me insane. It drives me nuts to think about how I've played a couple matches, and I've... I've like won two matches and I've lost three because I have no idea what people are playing. I've checked Hearthstone, or I'm sorry, I've checked Hearthpone.com and I've checked, uh, what else have I checked? Uh, Liquid Hearth, I checked Reddit, and I've been looking at some of the decks and yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I don't recognize. 
So <laughs> it's, it just surprises me. You know, you don't play this game for a week or even two weeks at a time, and you really kind of fall behind on what people are playing. Anyways, I digress. So what do we want to mulligan here? Oh, uh, we got a snow chugger. Not super beneficial against the priest, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it anyways. Azure Drake, I'm gonna throw back. I'm gonna hold on to the Mech Warper as well. Okay, cool. Tinkertown Technician. Now, I would say that a 4-4 minion would be the best situation against the priest. However, that was my advice pre-GVG. <laughs> Before the Goblin vs. Gnome expansion, 4-4 uh, four, four, or just a 4 attack damage minion against the priest was really, really powerful. And now they've got a lot of different ways to actually deal with that. But in any case, I'm going to go ahead and drop down the Mech Warper first turn. It's likely that he might use a Shadow Word Pain if he has one in his deck. He's probably... He obviously knows that already that I'm a Mech Mage because I've already thrown out a Mech Warper. And it looks like he is not going to do that. So, we're going to go ahead and exploit that. And draw out the two cheapy mechs that I can. Again, like I said, we're playing against a Priest, so... Having a Snow Chugger against a Priest uh, isn't really beneficial. If anything, this might be a little more beneficial to use against one of his minions. And in this case, I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Oh, yeah. So we're just going to go ahead and kill off this guy. Now, when you're playing the Mech Mage deck, and in particular, uh, Kalento's Mech Mage deck, you have to think about when are you going to play certain cards. Obviously, that's like any deck, right? But when it comes to the mere entity, you really want to think about, you might want to hold on to this card until like, maybe until about turn seven, turn eight. Um, mm. The priest that we're playing against, in my opinion, is a control priest. I mean, he's played two cards so far, and in my control, okay, so three cards, and in my control priest deck, um, Actually, I don't know if I have this one in my, in my control priest deck. I might, but I'm not sure. Anyways, the point is, I have a hunch. I'm willing to bet that he has a Dr. Boom. So what I would want to do is I want to play my Mere Entity on turn 6, where it goes to turn 7 for him. And, yeah, that's what I'm going to do in two turns. But, for now, let's go ahead and drop down the Tinker, Tinker Town Technician. Now, I could give somebody Stealth which I don't want to do. I'm going to go ahead and drop down the Cogmaster for now. And let's go ahead and just continue going straight for face. Do as much damage as we can. Now Cogmaster, I'm kind of back and forth on. I've had him in Mech Mage decks before, and then I've thrown him out because I always find that he's just not that useful. Um, but, I don't know, maybe... I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I have no idea whether I should keep him or not. Okay, so he's dropped himself down a Sludge Bulger, which is a little bit concerning for me. i got to figure out, what do I want to do here? Now, I could attack into him and then ping, and then that would clear his Sludge Bulger out of the way. In fact, I think that might be what I want to do. Of course, he could do a Holy Nova, in which case this guy would die anyways. <clears throat> but regardless, I think it's going to be the best value that I get. I'll go ahead and drop down a piloted shredder. Let me attack into that. Now, I'm taking a very big risk here. He might have a Holy Nova. So do I attack him in the face or do I clear the board? Hmm... Well, I think what I want to do here is I want to get rid of that guy. I don't know, maybe I made the wrong mistake. Maybe I should have attacked with the uh, Cogmaster. If he throws down a Holy Nova right now, I'm screwed. <laughs> we shall see what he does. Let me change your mind. Okay. <clears throat> well, that's relatively good news. We did not get a Holy Nova, which is nice. Okay, cool. So next turn, so this turn right here, I'm going to play the Mirror Entity and hope that he has a Dr. Boom. And the next turn, I'll play a Dr. Boom as well. Let me go ahead and drop down the Mad Scientist right now. And then I'm going to attack into him. And then I'm actually going to stealth 
my uh, piloted shredder here because uh, he's in a lot of trouble right now especially if he drops down a dr boom at this time it's possible that he might not though he might want to use a holy nova in this point at this point because he's getting low on health okay that's one mana crystal he's still got six so he could possibly pull out another uh, a holy nova hmm okay Looks like he's going to try to trade a couple of items out, or try to get rid of some of my guys. Now, if I do draw into a fireball, that is game over, unless he pulls down a taunt. Unfortunately for me, he did not actually play Dr. Boom like I was hoping, but that's okay, because I got a Dr. Boom myself next turn. And even if he doesn't play a minion this turn and plays a minion... Okay, well, there's the minion. <laughs> and actually, that works out for me. If he is not able to attack it, I've got 8 points of damage right here. Granted, he's going to be up to 10, but he'll be down to 1 point of uh, one hit point when I do my Fire Blast. And in fact, let's just go ahead and go straight for face. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, I didn't... I won! <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I miscounted. I was not paying attention. I didn't think I actually won that. Um, well, there you go. Kalento Mech Mage, Mage Mac deck. Um, and as you saw, the Mirror Entity in particular is what makes this more of Kalento's style of Mech Mage. And in that game, you saw the Mirror Entity pull out a 4-3, which, which was what locked in the game for me. Um, and so even though I, I lost the effect of the battle cry, that's okay. Um, hey, it was a win. And even though I miscounted, I was still lucky enough that I got the game killing blow. <laughs> a lot of times I will miscount and then I will lose, or I'll get the priest down to one hit point, and then I lose, because then he heals himself back up, and he heals for two, I deal one point of damage to the mage, you know, you know the story, it gets, gets really old. But anyways, I'm kind of rambling here, so... There you have it, Kalento Mech Mage Mage Mech Deck. Leave a comment in the comments below if you have any suggestions at all. I will be posting some more videos as well. Next up is going to be Snake Bite, or Bite Snake, or Snake Trap, or pff, whatever the hell the name of that Hunter Deck is. But stick around on my channel, I will be making a video about the Hunter Deck Snake Bite, I think it's called. And uh, yeah, until next time, my name is Meerkat.